welcome back to another Minecraft Conquest Reforged video. Kinder Knight here. And real quick, before we start, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it as it does help the channel as well as with the YouTube algorithm. But anyways, we are back on the continent of Colossia and today marks the start of a new castle building series, much like the Roostenshire project where the progress will hopefully expand upon maybe 15 to 30 episodes. And so I found this nice plateau area here with this nice landmass directly adjacent to it where I can put the castle with maybe a stone or wooden bridge of some sort to connect the two. I'm really loving this area. It gives me plenty of space for building. It's in a good position and I really love the natural defensive elevation of it. I'm really feeling it and I think it's the perfect place to build a castle, but not just any castle, but a nice grand castle. In fact, I really wanted to further expand upon the Lindis dynasty's lore, so I'm planning this site to be their family's ancestral castle. So I'm going to open my map here, and as you guys can see, this is a nice chunk of land. We have this big crag right here where our castle will go, and we'll have a drawbridge that connects from here to this landmass here, and then we'll have a nice wall that goes around this whole area, and then we'll probably create maybe an entrance into the city from here, then we'll continue the wall, and maybe have another entrance here, and then we'll continue the wall, and then down here we'll probably have like some harbors, some boats and fishing and uh, ports down here, and inside we'll just have homes, businesses, jobs, and maybe an upper class district, and some storage houses, and all that good stuff. But allow me to give you guys a bit of perspective, so if we head a little bit northwest, we come to over here, Lindis Cliff, the home of the sun, an heir of the Lindis dynasty. And then if we go a little bit west, a little bit southwest, we have Roostenshire here. And then if we go a little bit uh, further south, we have Knightley Castle here. And so moving back up, to the site of our new castle it kind of gives us a little bit of perspective of how big this castle will be as you see it's probably three times the size of Roostenshire um, so we have a nice bit of work and a nice bit of land to work with here and I hope to like really just develop this and make it really interesting and keep my sight lines in mind and you know try to create something really interesting and really fun I know it hasn't been that long ago but since Roostenshire, I've really been looking forward to doing another series like this. But unlike Roostenshire, this will represent a city that's governed by a very rich lord. Whereas in the case of Roostenshire, it's more of a growing rural town owned by a fairly rich lord. And so I really hope I can display that majesty and opulence this kind of castle city would have. And so to go back over our plan here is to have our grand castle and I really wanna make sure that this castle is really fortified, but it will sit here on this kind of crag rock mass here. Thanks to the power of World Edit, I was able to extend the surface area a bit more, making it a bit more suitable for building our castle. And as I mentioned before, we'll have a bridge of some sort that will connect from the castle back to the city. And of course, we'll have a stone wall that will enclose the city around this entire plateau area, where again, we'll have houses, shops and businesses and parks and a cathedral and maybe a place of learning so here is the floor plan i came up with inspiration taken from carlston castle in prague and also some other sources and so the red wool kind of represents where towers will be as well as the blue is representing for our walled structures and the green and purple represents the actual keep and donjon so Again, I really wanted to make this a fortified building. I really wanted it to be a place that's very accommodating, but at the same time, still a military fortress. It's not quite a palace. It is, but it kind of isn't. It's sort of a balance between the two, which is the reason for all the towers. The castle will have about five gatehouses. The main donjon is in purple, where we can find some personal chambers. Whereas in the green, we'll have the throne room and maybe the lower sections will be where the kitchen and maybe some possible servants quarters could be placed and that big area marked in red wool that sits off to the left of the donjon can become the feasting hall 
where maybe on the upper and lower levels, we can add in some more personal bed chambers. I don't know, I'll just have to figure it out. There's a lot that I need to, and wanna be able to cram into such a little bit of space. And so if you guys would like to see more, you'll just have to join me back here for the next video. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And until the next video, I bid you a farewell.